Hello, I'm Dr. Tony Schmitz. I'm a professor at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, and joint faculty at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Today, I'd like to provide an introduction to the ACE CNC machining training program. I'd like to begin uh, by offering my gratitude. Thanks for taking the time to listen, um, and I hope that you decide to enjoy the ACE team. With the rest of my time, I'd like to introduce America's Cutting Edge, or ACE, discuss U.S. manufacturing and machining to motivate your participation, and then provide an overview of our program. America's Cutting Edge, or ACE, is a national initiative for machine tool technology development and advancement. It is supported by the Department of Defense Industrial Base Analysis and Sustainment, or IBAS, program, and is based at Oak Ridge National Laboratory's Manufacturing Demonstration Facility. The program is managed by IACME, the Composites Institute. So I provided here a quote from the IBAS program director, Adele Ratcliffe, where she says, ACE is intended to help the United States recover the technical and manufacturing leadership position and enable our ability to design and make the machine tools required to produce so many of the products that are used in modern society. So you might ask the question, why should I be interested in manufacturing and machining? Let's explore that. First, you'll be in good company. Here are some leaders that you might have heard of in innovation and manufacturing. Dean Kamen, he's the inventor of the Segway. Steve Jobs of Apple fame. Dr. Robert Jarvik, he invented the first artificial heart and understand, understood how important it was to be able to manufacture as well as design that part, that heart. Joni Ive, he designed the iPhone, the iPad, the MacBook. Chances are you, you, you might be using one of those devices right now. Um, and certainly today, you might have encountered one of those devices. He's holding some machined aluminum components in the picture. Thomas Edison was a firm believer in manufacturing to enable innovation. William Hewlett and David Packard of Hewlett Packard fame used machining. Elon Musk understands the critical role of manufacturing and machining in his innovation. And finally, Eddie Van Halen. So he was the guitarist for the rock group Van Halen. You see him here machining one of the bases for his custom guitars. So why should you be interested? Because you're needed. There are unfilled positions in the manufacturing industry today. In fact, there's a study which says up to 2.4 million manufacturing jobs may be unfilled by 2028. There is room for you in this industry. Manufacturing is all around you and it's pervasive. Let's look at this video here that talks about the importance of U.S. manufacturing. How important is U.S. manufacturing today? A lot of people think nothing is made here anymore, but they're wrong. Products designed and made in America touch every aspect of our lives, our homes, our businesses, our schools, our hospitals, our churches. They make possible everything we do, whether we're driving, exercising, reading, eating, sleeping, or simply lying on a beach. In fact, the American manufacturing sector is much, much bigger than you might think. Official statistics tell us manufacturing represents 11% of today's economy and 9% of the American workforce, but this underestimates the sector's full impact. To measure the actual manufacturing value chain, look at the whole process of getting a product to market. It starts with a manufacturer's upstream supply chain. Miners, scientists, engineers, specialized suppliers, transportation firms, and other service providers are all involved in the prep for the factory floor. A lot of labor skill, energy, resources, services, and process management goes into making the product in the factory. Then, once the product is sitting on the loading dock, 
a large downstream sales chain jumps into action to ensure it's available for customers to buy. These include wholesalers and distributors, specialists in logistics, more transportation firms, professional service providers, and retail stores. All in all, manufacturing's value chain is much larger than official statistics suggest. It actually accounts for more than one-third of the U.S. economy. And the people who work in this value chain represent one-third of the country's workforce. Just as important, manufacturing's value chain has enormous impact on society. For every one dollar of manufacturing value created here, three dollars and sixty cents in additional economic activity is generated across the rest of society. No other sector can match that. Put another way, each manufacturing job created in this country leads to 3.4 jobs in non-manufacturing industries to take a product from start to finish. So next time someone says, we don't make anything here anymore, set them straight. American manufacturing is vast and remains one of the most influential sectors in our 21st century economy. To learn more about manufacturing's vital role in our lives, visit maypie.net forward slash multiplier. Okay, so we've seen the big picture of the manufacturing supply chain and how it affects the U.S. economy. Let's uh, narrow our focus a little bit um, to Red Bull racing and a single bolt on a race car. Yeah, so that was exciting, right? We see a digital design process followed by CNC machining operations and then measurement operations to ensure that the final part met the design specifications. And then finally, it's end use. So 
we enable a car, right, to race around the track by these manufacturing operations. Um, let's look a little more detail at machining itself. No one wants a handmade engine block or jet turbine. We want precision things made by machines. Machine tools built our modern world. Our lifestyle wouldn't exist without them. Now, machine tools on Modern Marvels. So there are, there are many machining operations that make up the ecosystem of machining. Um, that industry is actually very large. Um, annually, it is responsible for $325 billion. And this represents 2% of the gross domestic product for the US or the size of our economy. You know, but really it's more than that. If we think back to the supply chain video that we saw, Remember that manufactured goods plus manufacturing for other industries represents about one third of the gross domestic product and employment in the US. It also has a multiplier effect. So for every dollar of domestic manufacturing value that is added, another $3.60 is added elsewhere. And then finally, for every job, that we create in manufacturing, there are 3.4 other jobs created in non-manufacturing industries because of that manufacturing job. So the footprint is very large um, and we need you to be part of that footprint. Finally, machining is high tech. When you enter a modern machining facility, you'll see something like this. It's clean, it's high tech, it's a work environment where technology is leveraged to enable today's manufacturing. And finally, it's important for the environment. So the picture here shows a shipping container that might carry manufactured products or equipment across an ocean. So there's lots of interest in reshoring the US supply chain because of the environmental impact of shipping. So the shipping, um, container capability that you see here produces pollution, which is equivalent to 50 million cars. In fact, if the shipping industry was a country itself, it would be ranked as the sixth largest contributor to global carbon dioxide emissions. So pulling manufacturing together um, that doesn't need to cross an ocean has the potential to have a dramatic effect on the global environment. Okay, so hopefully we've, we've gotten motivated um, to be interested in manufacturing and machining in particular. And so that would lead you to join the ACE CNC machining training program. So what is that? Well, there's two components. There's an online component that you complete at your own pace on your own computer. And then there's an optional in-person training, which we're scheduling for summer 2021. For the online component, it includes about six hours of instruction and it's composed of several modules. There's a machining tutorial, which covers topics which lets you become familiar with machining. Second, um, there is computer aided manufacturing or CAM instruction through multiple lessons that let you perform the operations necessary to machine an example part. After you've completed that CAM instruction, there's a machining dynamics tutorial where we learn the importance of considering machining vibrations when selecting the parameters in that CAM software. Those, those machining dynamics lessons leverage CAM Plus. So this is an app that is distributed with the training that enables you to simulate machining performance on your, on your computer. So it's like you're at the machine tool without being at the machine tool. Finally, there's an introduction to machining costs so we can understand the influences of things like tool wear, the machining parameters that you selected, and the role of vibrations in cost. Along the way, there are multiple choice quizzes which lets you assess your learning and track progress. At the end of the online training, there's an opportunity to participate in in-person training 
and that will include instruction for part setup and probing and part program upload. And then finally machining the part that you, um, that you examined during the online curriculum. So let's begin. What does it take to get going? Well, you visit this website, mtrc.utk.edu forward slash ACE, ACE, <laughs> and that lets you register for the online training and proceed. Once you register, you'll get instructions for how to download the files, and then you do everything else online. So I hope you join us. Thank you.